You two miners wouldn't be trying to purchase alcoholic beverages now, would you? Come on, man. You know us better than that. You guys probably think I'm a real butthead. You think I didn't want to taste a beer when I was your age? Hell, they used to call me Dixie Cup Dean. You wanna buy some acid? Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Fuck, man, we got chance! Fucking doggy style and shit on their parents' hands! Woo! I'm working my chest, I'm working my triceps, I'm working the back of my calves, and I'm working my heart, and I'm working my lungs. I'm working my buttocks. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, DK, why don't you just take your mama home some chicken, and then I won't have to stuff my boot all up in your ass. Man, you are one crazy motherfucker. But it's all Student bodies, welcome to... Eat shit and die, Ricky! Well, Professor Dave will certainly feel that way if he ever sees this. So, uh, I went down a little, uh, rabbit hole, or tried to, a flat earth. Because for some reason, anytime the subject comes up, YouTube needs to give me clarification that flat earth is just a, a really stupid theory. Which I already know that, but it... I actually wanted to see a video of somebody showing me a presentation of Flat Earth, but instead I found this debate between David Weiss and Professor Dave. And I found Professor Dave to be such a hand job that I actually sided with the Flat Earth guy. Not with the science, mind you, just as a person. You know, they just go out and uh, pretty much straw man us, whether you know it or not or gaslight us and then there's really no way to respond because no so you've it, never seen my channel ever and have no idea what i do because i no, make no, no. academic I, tutorials i have i have but 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 your your flat earth stuff is um mm -hmm. is gaslighting us essentially it's devastating so, uh, and destroys well, yeah, flat earth easily Ab absolutely so <laughs> I, started. I, I sided more with the flat earth guy so i did some more digging into professor dave turns out Professor Dave has had a little trife with Matt Walsh over Matt Walsh's What is a Woman documentary. So let's listen to Professor Dave break down gender science, which, in my opinion, is medicine's version of flat earth. It's ridiculous. Now, to be clear, if you're trans, I don't give a shit. Just don't be trans for these reasons. Like, if you got a real reason to be trans, it's, like, personal to you and based off some life experience or something, I ain't one to say, all right? But if you start telling me all this horse shit, I'm not gonna, I'm not buying into it, all right? Just, just say I wanted to be the other thing, and we'll go from there. I actually think it'd be better for your mental health than thinking that instead of you being a man trapped in a woman's body or vice versa, if you just went, eh, I'd rather be the other thing. That way you don't feel like you're, you know, on this unachievable goal. That way you can be like, huh, all right, I, I did it. I wanted to become the other thing. I became the other thing. It's like, I'm not my true self. I still can't find my true self. Like, that's bad for your thinking. Like, you know, I also wouldn't recommend going trans if you know, you're not going to pull it off. I, I'm, you know, be realistic. If you can't, if you can't be a Bailey J or a Blair White, I wouldn't bo fucking bother. I, that's just me seems to be furious about trans people. Half of us are furious that they exist, and the other half are furious about what the other half is saying. I would like to just... a little more complicated than that, but on your side, because you're going to be completely dishonest about, like, because he says, I'm not letting liberals get away scot-free either. Yeah, you do. Um, the reality is this. Dave isn't trans, and if... Dave wants to continue working at whatever community college he's currently teaching at. He has to push this science, otherwise he'll get fired. So his self-interest supersede your best interests. Period. Like, right away his motives are completely dishonest for even telling you this shit. 
Now, it's no secret that I'm a bit on the liberal side, but rest assured, the left is not going to get away scot-free on this one. They're missing the mark on a few key points. But as tends to be the case, it's bigots on the right who are the main problem, so let's start there. The prime It's on the right? Are you talking about the, the lady that wrote this letter? In August of 2017, our seventh grade daughter came home from sleepaway camp, believing she was a boy. She had a new vocabulary and a strong desire to change her name and pronouns. We never anticipated that we needed to ask the camp if she was going to be in a cabin with other females who were socially transitioning to boys. We suspect that our daughter assumed that since my wife and I are lesbians and liberal in our politics, that we would support this new identity. We may be lesbians, but we are not confused about biology. She tried to convince us with a very scripted explanation that she had always felt like a boy, but we had never once seen or heard from her any evidence of this new feeling. We listened to her, gave her the space to talk about her feelings, and tried hard not to convey to her that we were utterly horrified by this revelation. As we began to try to find information to make sense of this, we found evidence of a social contagion all over the internet. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit supplied a how-to guide and handbook on transitioning, complete with trans stars like Jazz Jennings and Riley J. Dennis, many with thousands of followers. We are in no way out of the woods. Some parents dealing with this, this issue view us as lucky because she is so young, giving us and her more time to work through her discomfort. Maybe we will be, but we are facing this ever-growing storm of a social contagion without any help from mainstream media or the negligent FDA, not to mention the pathetic capitulation of our physicians and mental health professionals. Liberal, lesbian, Democrats, I, I don't, you can't get further away from right wing than that. All you need to not, to be a right winger now is to just not be a left wing extremist. That's all it takes. I mean, I didn't call myself right wing. I mean, I'm voting Republican now. Of course, funny enough, I, I didn't really vote back then. I mean, I, I am now. I'm voting now, even though I, may, I know it ain't going to make a difference. But as far as I am, as far as my allegiance to conservatism or liberalism, this is pretty much my attitude now. Um, also, I mean, look, if you're a kid and you're, you're young and dressing like the opposite gender is what upsets the establishment, have at it. But again, don't, don't do the surgeries. I mean, really just, just dress like the other thing. I mean, I, I know you kids must think I'm a real butthead. You think when I was your age, I didn't want to put on fishnet stockings, parade around in women's clothes. Hell, they used to call me Drag Queen Dean. It's the adults who piss me off in this equation, because the adults are the ones that are allowing and enabling all of this permanent damage, whereas just let them dress like the other thing for a little while, they'll grow out of it. They'll realize it was as stupid as the shit that, you know, everybody like everybody else, is like disco. Teachers are the fucking worst, though. I, I really, I don't respect that profession. Sorry. I, I just don't. I don't I don't know why this uh, predators in the schools problem is so difficult to solve. Seems like it'd be fairly easy to pick out which ones not to let teach classes anymore. That I would get a little authoritarian on. But at the college level, the college level really makes me fucking angry because that's where the real failures are in that business. See, every one of these guys wanted to be something else. Like, in Professor Dave's mind, he wants to be at, like, some symposium giving, uh, you know, discovering some new theory and mathematical equation and impressing people like Michu Kaku. And, but he's not. He's not a good scientist. So the best he can do is become, like, an, an academic college professor so he can give these fun with Dick and Jane lessons on physics. Now, the thing I love about the academic class is they're so much smarter than all of us, but they can only have a debate with somebody about moronic shit like the shape of the earth. 
Now, notice he doesn't want to have a one-on-one -on -one debate with Matt Walsh over this transgenderism thing. And he, he even turns off the comments on his YouTube video about it. So I don't know if Professor Dave buys this shit quite as much as he's pretending to. Apologies for the uh, noticeable change in audio quality. My uh, microphone quit working, so I'm having to record the audio off a camcorder for right now. Uh, just ordered another one, but for right now... We ain't got no fucking microphone. And this shit's a pain in the ass, too. I hate doing it this way. The main problem, so let's start there. The primary issue is people who deny transgenderism. These are the people who spew the tired Fox News talking points. Liberals say there are 89 genders and anyone can identify as a hamster, that sort of thing. Nah, that doesn't happen at all. Equestrian besties for over six years now. It's easier than having a bio horse. <laughs> bio horses, that's a phrase in our life now. Sounds like a full moon movie from the makers of Doll Man. Demonic Toys. Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys. Comes Bio Horses. Starring Tim Thomerson and Rutger Hauer. Special guest appearance by Helmut Berger. Bio Horses. They stand like man. They think like horse. They're hung like hamsters. Bio horses. Let's all take a moment to acknowledge the problems that go along with the ambiguity of language. Sex and gender are different words that refer to different things. If you did not know that, now you do. It, yeah, to a con artist, words are ambiguous. To everyone else, words kind of have a definite meaning. And what you just said, it really offends me more as an author than anything else. All right, gender is basically the politically correct word for sex. All right, implemented by people who were tired of reading this on a form. Sex? Yes, please. That now you do. Hmm. There is a different phenomenon. It is still biological, but it is a neurochemical construct. This means that ultimately it is still genetic in basis, but it absolutely is not determined merely by the sex chromosomes. It is tremendously more complicated, and researchers are still working to understand the biological basis of gender identity. Human yeah, the brain, it's every pharmaceutical huckster's favorite organ, because it offers so much of that ambiguity you, uh, you like so much. Uh... Bullshitting people about how fucked up a lung or a kidney is, that, that's kind of impossible because, you know, the damage is visible. But the brain, yes, the holders of your thoughts and personality and whatever the fuck a soul actually is. Yes, mostly what it does is power all of the other shit that is operating your body. That's why whenever the brain is damaged, there's like a physical side effect that goes with it. Like schizophrenia, for instance. And like visual and auditory hallucinations. Those are physical side effects. All right, they're mentally fucked up, sure. But again, that that's that's coming with something. It it, it fucks with the rest of their body. Epilepsy, brain thing, lesions on the brain, it causes fucking seizures. And you ever notice that uh, people with Down syndrome all look like they have the same dad? Cerebral palsy, another one. Brain damage causes the fucking, your arm to not open and all sorts of other weird shit. And if what he's asserting with this drawing is true, and the brain interprets itself as female then why is why do they never show why do they need so much help why don't the physical side effects of the body upping its own estrogen wouldn't that just happen on its own wouldn't they be malformed from birth i'd love to ask dave this but he he leaves the comments on this subject anyway he'll go round and round with you about the shape of the earth the color of the sky the number of fingers and toes a person is supposed to have? Well, maybe not. But if this was a condition caused by the brain and neurochemical 
uh, misfirings that make you think the uh, make the brain think that its body is in the opposite gender and what it is, then wouldn't the body respond in kind by growing facial hair or some form of breast? Maybe malformed breasts? See, like, if there was things like that happening anyway, and the surgery was just to help put that on course, then I would find this a lot more believable. But it seems like the process of a person becoming trans is... Uh, they're left in the care of somebody like you in the form of a college professor, a camp counselor, or a teacher, and then come back like this. Daddy, I'm confused. I've got a heart on. My daughter, age 14, at age 14, spontaneously decided she is actually a male. After suffering multiple traumatic events in her life and spending a large amount of time on the internet, she announced that she was trans. Her personality changed almost overnight, and she went from being a sweet, loving girl to a foul-mouthed, hateful, pansexual male. And I've got boxes of this shit sitting in my office. Alright, not to come off like a condescending prick here, but these are not pictures of the inside of somebody's brain. These are animations of the inside of somebody's brain. They, they didn't send a camera in there and take, you know, photos. And yeah, you know that, but see the whole man part of the manipulation with these types of presentations is you innately know that, but at the same time, by the time they're done, you, they've, you've tricked yourself into thinking you've seen the inside of somebody's brain. You haven't. This is an animation. And the little lightning bolts are just doing whatever the hell uh, Professor Dave wants to tell you they're doing. I mean, he could actually show CAT scan results, like real ones, like actual readings from, you know, medical stuff, but he doesn't. Because, see, even though we wouldn't know what the hell that is either, we could still go learn. Somebody who does CAT scans or whatever, like administers them for a living, would know how to read that and could refute it. But if you show an animation and just kind of broadly brush over how it kind of works, then that's, that, that's good enough for most average people, or at least for their target audience who already want to think that they're trans or want to believe the science anyway. Alright, not to come off like a condescending prick here, but these are not pictures of the inside of somebody's brain. These are animations of the inside of somebody's brain. They, they didn't send a camera in there and take, you know, photos. And yeah, you know that. But see, the whole man part of the manipulation with these types of presentations is you innately know that, but at the same time, by the time they're done, you, they've, you've tricked yourself into thinking you've seen the inside of somebody's brain. You haven't. This is an animation. And the little lightning bolts are just doing whatever the hell uh, Professor Dave wants to tell you they're doing. I mean, he could actually show CAT scan results, like real ones, like actual readings from, you know, medical stuff, but he doesn't. Because, see, even though we wouldn't know what the hell that is either, we could still go learn somebody who does CAT scans or whatever, like administers them for a living, would know how to read that, and could refute it. But if you show an animation and just kind of broadly brush over how it kind of works, then that's, that, that's good enough for most average people, or at least for their target audience, who already want to think that they're trans or want to believe the science anyway. But you see, in the end, this just relies on our faith in the science. 
Because they're relying on the same things, Professor Dave and the Flat Earth guy. See, we can't, we don't have a rocket in the backyard we could put David Weiss in, fly him up there real quick and go, see, it's round. And then he'd have to go, shit, it is. Same deal here. We can't unscrew a kid's head and look at it and go, yeah, you're right, that is a female brain in there. Sorry, Scotty. We're changing your name to Serena. Get the scissors. Let's cut his nuts off. It's just weird that nature is suddenly making this mistake all over the place now. See, that would be worth looking into if this is some sort of... Because if it's happening in the brain, it's a physical malady. So, why all of a sudden is this happening? I mean, again, I don't care if you're trans as long as... I don't know, is there some kind of story attached to it? Like, you had abusive parents like that poor Jazz Jennings kid? Because I have all the sympathy in the world for Jazz Jennings. I just think her parents belong in prison. Maybe you were an asshole when you were a kid, and you and your friends were picking on this boy, and, you know, he climbed up a tree trying to get away from you, and he fell out and broke his neck, and... Just like, I can't go on through the rest of this life with the, the identity of that mean little kid that, you know, that killed poor Billy Mancini. So I became, you know, a new person, a new identity. I, can't, I couldn't look at that guy in the mirror anymore. All right. Or we can just go super simple. I went out with my friends to a, a gay bar. We caught a drag show. It looked like a blast, and next thing I know, I, I'm just hanging out here with a bunch of trannies and doing drag shows. I just fell in love with it. I love making costumes, and I'm just going to live my whole life in a costume because I love it that much. I'll take any of that over this horse shit right here. Tired of people saying they're doing things because, ah, uh, my me I'm fucked up mentally. I can't control what I do. All this does is turn, and I'm not just talking about transgenderism. I'm talking about all of them. ADHD, ADD, uh, Asperger's. They're all fucking nonsense. All you do when you tell people they have this, these disorders, they just go, oh, okay, well, I won't correct any of my asshole behavior, uh, since how we just call that, like, you know, bipolar mood swing disorder. Uh, I used to just get called a dickhead, but... That's all right. Now that I'm, I've got this long, complicated medical diagnosis behind my shit personality, that just means everybody's got to tolerate me. Let me go around and just do whatever I want. Sorry, retarded. Oh, that's okay then. You don't know any better. Oh, bless your heart. Jeez, didn't you hear me a second ago? I'm retarded. The reason that we are just now becoming equipped to differentiate between the two phenomena is that in the vast majority of humans, somewhere between 99 and 99.9% .9 of all people, gender identity aligns with biological sex. Yeah, I really don't feel like non-transgender people need a new term to define them. Plus, this is a slur. This is sneaky, smart guy bullshit, okay? Like, the, uh... They, they try to say that this is rooted in Greek language bullshit. I mean, maybe it is, but you chose that for a reason, and it's not because of its historical significance. You chose it because the it's the suffix, so, so many slurs that you like to call people who are, you know, the the bigots on the right, if you will. Which is fascist, racist, sexist. I mean, I, I know that last one is with an X, but still. Same suffix. It's the same noise. So that's basically your way of, like, saying when you identify yourself as cisgender, that's... Yeah, that, that's you accepting your name as Toby instead of Kunta Kente. That's, that, that's today's version of that.
So, uh, fuck you. That's a slur. That's sneaky, smart guy, passive-aggressive, college bullshit. And, uh, no. I don't go for it. Fuck you. I don't need to be relabeled. We're fine. You could just keep calling people heterosexual. Cisgender. Ugh. Alright, well, that's enough of this bullshit for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. This was the first run. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to have a fucking microphone. Although, I got to say, I, I, I think the camcorder audio might actually sound a little better than the microphone. But, like I said, this shit is a pain in the ass to do it this way. So... Either way, I'm out. So while Professor Dave and the rest of the world says, Eat shit and die, Ricky! I say, Eat shit and live. Now all of you, get the fuck out now before I get too mad to turn back. All of y'all, now get the fuck out. Come on, you motherfuckers. Get the fuck out. Randy, you tuning son of a bitch! Go fucking practice, Randy! Come on, Morris, you fucking genius! Get the fuck up and get the fuck out of here! God damn it!